So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 period drama dance scenes. I don't know the steps. Neither do I, just go with it. <laughs> the secret is to look as though you know it's okay. They're all looking at you. Believe me, they're all looking at you. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable dance scenes from our favourite period pieces. Did we leave out your favourite? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Natasha Rostova and Andrei Bolkonsky. War and Peace. You know that enormous novel by Leo Tolstoy that has been looming over fans of literature for over a century? Don't worry, there are plenty of screen adaptations. The story features a number of romances, however that of Andre and Natasha is central and most passionate. This is felt in the 2016 miniseries when the two dance a waltz. <music> Natasha anxiously watches as all the young ladies are chosen and is visibly nervous when Andre walks over to ask her to dance. May I request the pleasure of a dance with your daughter, Natalia? Of course. She'll be delighted. The moment is magical, and the two are clearly falling in love during the waltz, as they appear, despite countless other couples, to be the only two on the dance floor. Number 9, Daphne Bridgerton and Simon Bassett. Bridgerton. In the widely popular show Bridgerton, Daphne and Simon forge a secret alliance to pretend to be courting each other. It is an absurd plan. But I find it quite brilliant. Provided you do not wish to marry me, and I do not wish to marry you, whatever should you have to lose? However, over time, one can see the evolution of their relationship, and the two eventually and inevitably end up falling in love. Whatever is bothering you. Nothing at all. Actor Reggae Jean Page has said that the dance scenes were like a gift for the actors, as they provide a sense of honesty. Where a person can hide emotions in everyday living, dancing gives way to enchanted gazes and a sense of letting go. This is clearly seen in the couple's dance sequences, as well as some other fairly obvious symbols of sexual tension such as fireworks. Corny, but we love it. Number 8, Larita Whittaker and Jim Whittaker, Easy Virtue. This one is a little different, although it does feature many a romance fan's perpetual dream actor, Colin Firth. You are damn cool in a crisis. American Larita marries into a wealthy English family. She doesn't quite fit in and has her share of issues particularly with her new husband's mother and sisters. The family patriarch, however, has grown wary of his estate life and sets himself apart from his aristocratic family. Complications ensue between Larita and her husband, causing the latter to refuse to dance with her at a party. Please, dance with me. Enter the father Jim Whittaker for a delightful tango, proving that Larita has some form of acceptance in the wealthy, snobbish world. Oh, marvellous! Marvellous! <laughs> Number 7, Ailish Lacey and Tony Fiorello, Brooklyn. The film takes place in 1951, when young Irish woman Ailish Lacey makes the trek across the ocean to Brooklyn, New York. She is apprehensive about the life awaiting her in the metropolis and is unsure about her decision to emigrate. The secret is to look as though you know it's I wish someone had told me that years ago. That is, until she meets Tony, and the two share a whirlwind romance. Will we ever tell our children we did this? Maybe we'll save it for some anniversary. I wonder what they'll think of it. Much like earlier entries in this list, Ailish is spotted by the handsome New Yorker from across a crowded dance hall, and he swoops in as soon as she is available. The two share a couple of dances, and though there don't seem to be any swoonful gazes just yet, we know that this is a moment. Can I walk you? 
I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to tell you why. So I don't get the wrong idea. Mm, I suppose so. Number six, Cinderella and Prince Kit. Cinderella. Some classics just never get old. In 2015, Disney brought its version of Cinderella to live action, with Lily James in the title role and Richard Madden as her prince. It would give me the greatest pleasure if you would do me the honor of letting me lead you through this. The first. Dance. Yes, dance. We welcomed it with open hearts. The ballroom dance scene is quintessential in the Disney universe, and this one didn't disappoint. They're all looking at you. Believe me, they're all looking at you. First of all, let's mention that Cinderella's outfit is one we all dreamt of as children. As she dances with the prince, the visual effect of that sparkling gown, coupled with the sparkle in the potential lover's eyes, make for a perfectly magical waltz. Bonus points go to Madden for successfully manoeuvring around that enormous skirt, and Lily James, who took an estimated 45 minutes to put it on each time. Number 5, Jane Austen and Tom Lefroy, Becoming Jane. Upon meeting Tom Lefroy in Becoming Jane, Jane Austen dances with him yet reacts much like her famous character Lizzie Bennet upon meeting Mr. Darcy. She considers him to be an arrogant wretch and is unimpressed by his cavalier attitude. But you are about being pleased. But again, much like her own protagonists, she eventually falls in love. The first dance, however, is quite impressive in its marriage of choreography and conversation. You judge the company severely, madam. Mm, I was describing what you would be thinking. Allow me to think of myself. Give me leave to do the same, sir, and come to a different conclusion. The two dance in a sort of automatic fashion, as they converse intermittently through the movements. Much like the other stories of this kind, the meeting is all too brief, and the wrong impressions are given. I think that you, Miss Austin. Consider yourself a cut above the company. Me. You, ma'am. Secretly. The duo share a far more passionate dance towards the end of the film. Number four, Rose DeWitt Bucata and Jack Dawson, Titanic. We love a good two worlds coming together romance, and Rose and Jack give us one of the best. So you want to go to a real party? As a member of the wealthy elite, Rose shouldn't be going anywhere below the first class decks. Yet, after having struck a romantic relationship with Jack, she ventures into his territory and into a lively dance. At first, she is hesitant to join. However, Jack, with his live for the moment ethos, pulls her into the festivities. We're gonna have to get a little bit closer, like this. <laughs> Still my best girl, Cora. I don't know the steps. Neither do I, just go with me. <laughs> Rose gradually becomes more comfortable with her surroundings and ends up doing a jig and spinning wildly with her lover. It's a beautiful and light-hearted moment and honestly looks like a hell of a good time. <laughs> Number three, Anna Karenina and Count Alexei Vronsky. Anna Karenina. This one is unique among our other entries. The film is aesthetically stylized, taking place entirely in an old theater. Thus, the dance scene between Anna and Vronsky is a kind of beautifully surreal performance sequence. Despite knowing that she shouldn't encourage him, Anna couldn't resist Vronsky's attentions. Dance with me. I'm not used to being spoken to like that by a man I met once at a railway station. I dare say, but if I'm not to dance with you, then I'm getting out of this operetta and going home. Then for Kitty's sake. As the two gracefully dance their way through the crowded ballroom, time stops. The dancers in the foreground freeze, allowing the couple to be the central focus. <laughs> Mid-dance, the pair is suddenly alone for a few darkened, intimate moments, only to be gradually rejoined by the reality of shocked onlookers and jealous eyes. 
It's a truly beautiful and evocative scene. <laughs> Number 2, Elizabeth Bennet and Mr Darcy – Pride and Prejudice What lover of romance doesn't fondly remember Mr Darcy? I don't understand. I love you. Most ardent. The dreamy yet serious gentleman has been portrayed by many actors over the years, all of whom did an arguably excellent job at making our hearts flutter. However, we had to select one for this list. So, we went with Born to be Darcy actor Matthew McFadden. The initial meeting of the two is tense, with Darcy offending Lizzie's pride and Lizzie taking issue with his haughtiness. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. When the two do eventually share a dance at a later ball, it is mostly as a formality. What results is a tense exchange of small talk. Why do you ask such a question? To make out your character, Mr Darcy. And what have you discovered? Very little. I hear such different accounts of you as puzzle me exceedingly. I hope to afford you more clarity in the future. The symbolic cut to the two dancing alone reveals that their real feelings might be more complicated, though. Mr Darcy is everything. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Valentine Wannup and Christopher Tegens, Parade's End, sharing a silent, intimate dance after some trying times. <laughs> the Queen and Royal Physician, A Royal Affair, Forbidden Love on the Dance Floor. Woodhouse and George Knightley. Emma, another classic Jane Austen moment of romantic discovery. <music> Edith Cushing and Sir Thomas Sharp, Crimson Peak. Edith is asked to dance by a mysterious, handsome gentleman. I've always closed my eyes to things that made me uncomfortable. It makes everything easier. I don't want to close my eyes. I want to keep them open. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Maria and Captain Von Trapp – The Sound of Music Ah, the moment when the stuffy patriarch shows his romantic side. In the classic film, Governess Maria is outdoors with the children during a fancy party, showing them how to dance. Like this? Fine, now we go for a little walk. This way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, step together. Now, step, hop, step, hop, not an under. <laughs> not right. Enter the handsome Captain Von Trapp, swooping in to provide a proper demonstration. The two glide across the garden floor with grace in one of those classic old-school Hollywood dance numbers. The captain is clearly far less straight-laced in this scene than usual, as he smiles and enjoys the moment, while Maria seems rather surprised at this change in character. The dance ends with a blushing Maria and a longful gaze, melting our hearts. I don't remember anymore. Your face is all red, is it? I don't suppose I'm used to dancing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.